Hi children, welcome back to English class. In our previous class, we discussed a book book lesson nine, uh, the passage and the answers and two or false questions. Okay. Now today we are going to continue the book book exercises, page number forty-eight. I hope all of you are ready with your book book, page number forty-eight. Okay. Today we are going to discuss the exercises D, E, F, G. And uh, H. Okay. Now let's go with the B first. D is circle the words that spelled correctly. Correctly, the words which which are spelled correctly. Those words you need to identify and you need to circle them. Now let's start the first one. Stream spelling. Uh, that is third one is correct. S T R E A. First one. Third one. S T R E A M. You need to circle the screen. Now let's go with the second one. W A Y. W A Y spelling. W E I G H. Second one. W E I G H. W A Y. Now let's go with the third one. Third one that is height. Height. H E I G H. Third one. H E I G H. Height is the correct answer. Now you need to circle the one. Don't forget to circle. Okay, height in the swing. The correct spelled word you need to circle. Okay, let's go with the fourth one. P. Fourth one is first one. P E E L. P is the correct word. Now fifth one. Ah, uh, now field. F I N E L. Before I say the answer, you should do that one in your book. Okay. The last one. Brief. B I N I E L. B R I B F B. Yeah, I hope you have understood what to do with this exercise D. Okay? Yeah. The first one is stream. Second one S T R E M. Second one W E I G H W E. And high H E I G H T P P E E L. Field F I N E L D. Sixth one brief B R I E F. Now let's go with the E part. Let's go with the E part. Fill in the blanks with the appropriate adverbs. I was able to complete the book hardly or complete because it's easy. You have completed means easy. You have completed hardly no need to complete. Okay. Now second one. Uh, Rohan is correctly dash of work. Inside of work you cannot find out of work. He is out of work. We visit Mr. and Mrs. Verma today. Are we visit Mr. and Mrs. Verma often? Uh, uh, appropriate adverbs like often we visit. Okay. Then otherwise they say we are going to visit. Okay. But we visit often. Okay. Correct. I heard the sudden and went out immediately. You heard sudden and you went out. Immediately, immediately, immediately. Now fifth one. Ah, uh, you need to speak louder, otherwise we will not be able to hear you louder. Okay, you will not be hear to you to hear you louder. Louder. Now sixth one. Ah, uh, you must turn dash louder and around between. When many are more, when two, you should write between. Now exercise E over. Now let's go with the exercise Y. Then G. Exercise Y. Let's go here with the exercise Y. Okay. Now I'm going to draw a line so that you understand. And Y is. Uh, I will write the adverbs in these sentences and say if they are adverbs of time, place, or manner. This I have discussed you when I finished the lesson eight. Our day panel and our day panel and textbook exercise. And that is topic grammar, words, uh, uh, kinds of adverbs. And uh, you want to know again? I want if you want to recollect and watch the video. It is on website. Okay. Thanks for adverbs. Now let's go with that. Underline the adverbs first. Be for shouted angrily at the boys. First one is angry. Underline angry. And what kind of adverb? How many shouted? And 
money. So I have verb of manners. Just write manner. First one there will be. Now let's go with the second one. Uh, you must stop here. Here. It's a adverb of place. It's telling about the place. Now third one. We went for a walk yesterday too. It's time. Yesterday. Yesterday is telling about the time. Where did we go? Yes, sir. So, I go about that. Where did we go? Here. Where did he stand? Here. That is the place. Okay. And then next fourth one. Uh, I can't find my book anywhere. Anywhere. It's a place. Here, anywhere, anywhere, or anywhere. Place. You know that one. Place. Here, yes, here, place. Now, let's go with the fifth one. Uh, I will send you a weekly letter to you uh, to tell how to tell you how I am. So weekly is telling uh, adverb of frequency actually. You know. Weekly it's an adverb of frequency. But what they have said, write only time, place, or manner. Actually, it's an adverb of frequency. You write frequency. Don't write manner. Adverb of frequency. Don't write the adverb of time. It's an adverb of frequency. How often you do? That's a weekly manner. Okay? Weekly you are going to send. Every week they are going to send. Now, next, the children went away happy after the celebration. How did they go? Happy they go. So, happy is telling how. So, answering how. So, it's a manner. That's it. Now let's go with the exercise G again. Choose suitable adverbs to complete this story. Okay, you need to choose uh, again that uh, complete this story. Okay, now let's do uh, this one now here. Okay, let's go with this. Choose suitable adverbs to complete this story. Dash is Radha's mother's body. Ease is there, so to it. No, so G1, I'm going to show you here. First one is to it. First one is to it. Now let's go with the second one. Okay. First one is to it. Next. Radha is dash arranging flowers in a vase. Radha is carefully. Dangerously you cannot arrange my carefully is the correct answer. The correct option is carefully. The next one is Radha is going to her mother's bedroom. Radha is hardly going because she is holding that flower vase. Actually, was she should say flower was or with her hand in her hand. So uh, hardly she is moving now with that was flower was. Okay, now fourth one. Her mother must still be dash asleep, fast asleep. Her mother must be still fast asleep is the time. Now, then sixth one, the boss is also perched dash on the tray. Perched means holding dangerously. Means it, is, it may fall at any time. Dangerously. Dangerously. Sixth one is dangerously. Now go with the seven, sixth one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, fifth one. Radha is carrying a breakfast tray on the tray. Uh, is a food she has prepared lovingly for her mother. Okay? Actually, fifth one is lovingly. Sixth one is dangerous. Lovingly. Lovingly. Next one is dangerous. Dangerous. Okay. Let's go with the next one. That is, oh no. Though Radha is walking dash, the horse is starting to topple, means falling down. Though Radha is walking slowly, though she was walking slowly, now let me write the next two here. Uh, slowly, sign one, slowly. Though she was walking slowly, it's moving, it's shaking, talking, this sign and that sign. Radha was dash to save it from falling. She moved quickly. Last one. Uh, to save, not to fall, 
brother so one else okay then after that all uh, i'm waiting for you one arrival waiting for you one arrival make it two passages one passage two passages this is how to write your own. hi friend i am dear asha how are you question mark i am fine you okay full stop convey my wishes to your parents and your sister okay i'm writing this letter to invite you to attend my birthday party which is on 25th january 2021 and uh, and uh, i'm inviting all our friends and old friends even uh, our school school friends and uh, all they are going to attend don't miss the party we are going to rock and make merry and this party would be unforgettable event in all of our life and we we'll stop and i'm hoping that you are uh, coming with along with my parents and sister and uh, waiting for you my arrival waiting for waiting for you my arrival then after this after this you was you was you was lovingly you are sign you was lovingly you are may or something but after this here square box it's not over here below this give finger space and write two words you need to write two words means two to whom you are this i don't have space so i'm writing here two address to uh, asha daughter of something x y z door number uh, y dash Waiting for your arrival. Yours lovingly. Yours lovingly, Usha. And then two words. To Asha, daughter of X Y Z, father's name, door number. Then uh, door number ten dash six dash eight or one. Then height of one. Height of one. Don't forget to write. Uh, Area name also, comma comma full stop. This is the way to finish the letter. Okay, two address should also come. Okay, I hope you understood now. Where should you write two address? Means to whom you are writing that address should also come there. Okay, now let me show you first letter writing, sender address, date, salutation, letter body. And then uh, closing, yours lovingly. Then two words. This is the format of letter writing. Okay, yeah, children. I hope you have uh, understood now how to write in your in your textbook. They have given actually, and you should go through here. Sender's address. Then, dear Malini, I hope you are well. Uh, how did you enjoy your holiday in Shimla? And then you should start. And then yours affectionately. After that, you have empty space. You are affectionately or you are lovingly after two address here. Okay, you have to write two address even. I hope you have understood about the letter writing point. This is very important. You should know this format to finish. And now by this we have finished. This is for your homework. Think and write is for your homework. And I have shown you how to write even. Okay, that's all for today's class. Now bye bye for now. Have a nice time.